Hello and welcome to this time of devotion. My name is Keith and I'm the pastor of the Presbyterian Church of Winona, New Jersey. And today we're going to be talking about listening to God. Before we talk about listening to God, I think it's important to understand that the whole way that we get enjoyment out of life doesn't come through seeking the things that many people seek, uh, whether it be financial stability or even a good family. Those are not necessarily bad goals, but uh, in the Westminster Catechism, one of the founding documents of the Presbyterian Church, the very first question more or less asks this, what is a person's ultimate goal? And the answer is to praise God and to enjoy God forever. And you would think that, boy, if all I need to do is praise God and to enjoy God, that's pretty simple. But what it means is that we have to take the focus off of ourselves and even take the focus off of the things we think are important and to put them on God. There's a passage of scripture that comes from Isaiah chapter 26. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3 says, You, Lord, give perfect peace to those who keep their purpose firm and put their trust in you. It's hard to keep a focus. I personally have a very difficult time focusing on just about anything for more than two to three minutes. And yet, I am learning to let go and to pray over and over again in a way that helps me listen to how God is speaking to me. Please join me in doing that right now. I ask that you focus your attention on the words I say and then that you give yourself the ability to let go and listen. Get comfortable, sit up straight, take some deep breaths in. Our focus will eventually turn to God. Let's reflect right now on the fact that God is with us right now. God is not just around us, but inside of us. Open your heart to the presence of God. God is throughout all existence, throughout our bodies, inside our hearts and minds. Ask that God would grant you the grace to be free from all of the focus of things in this world. Help us, God, not to be wrapped up in the physical comforts, the desire for wealth. Ultimately, freedom exists when we love God and we serve God. What does loving God look like? What does serving God look like? The very fact that God loves us unconditionally gives us the ability to come to God honestly with what's on our hearts and minds. As we reflect over the last 24 hours of our lives, what ways did we draw closer to God? Think of specific moments and name them. What were 
some of the things that we did in the last 24 hours that moved away from God. Remember that God loves us completely. And to go to God with those things that we are embarrassed about is a part of our healing, a part of God's forgiveness, and a part of God's giving us the power to overcome them. We are here to grow, to grow in faith, to grow as a human, to grow as a husband or a wife or a friend or a family member. We grow because we want to make this world a better place. And we make this world a better place when we learn how to praise God and to enjoy God. And as we do that, we dive a little deeper into what does it mean to truly live for God and serve God. Let us close in prayer. God, sometimes the words of Scripture are so simple. Just put trust in you. Just love you. Just be grateful that we are with you. And yet, just those things can be overwhelming. And we pray that you help us to pause each day and throughout the day to refocus on praising you and enjoying you. Give us the willpower and the desire to have you be at the center of our lives. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Have a blessed day.